POV. It's October 31st, 2020. You're out trick-or-treating, having a great time, except <laughs> it's uh, it's corona season, so you can't do that. Motherfuckers gonna be trick-or-treating on Roblox and shit. <laughs> Right, so you may be wondering, what is this about? Even though you can clearly see the title, let me help you. So look around. Do you see the calendar on your wall that hasn't been changed in months? Go ahead, change it. It's October, it's Christmas season, and with the pilgrim holiday comes trick-or-treating. Please welcome, uh, give me a little drum roll. No? Okay. Trick-or-treating, a guide. Or a guide to trick-or-treating, I don't know, I'm not God. Today we'll be teaching you the three ways to get candy or whatever. You know, me and the other two were actually the official royal council of Halloween from 123 Boulevard around the corner. Yeah, no, we actually created the holiday. We were there. 2,000 years ago in the ancient Celtic festival, we were there and we started it, so let me fill you in. <clears throat> Before we tell you our ancient tricks of the annual event, we gotta give you some background. Now, I'm no saint nor supernatural creature, I'm just me. Actually, I can confirm that as a ghost, my buddy here is 100% confirmed to be a werewolf. We've run numerous tests and urine samples. The mere fact that we're collaborating on such an event like Hallow's Eve ain't no dollar store decoration, I can tell you that much. Trust me, it took way more than a blood moon for us to crank this one up. It, it ain't even in my criteria to even speak to werewolves. So thanks to whoever made that summoning circle under his bed. Yeah, whatever he said. Imagine if someone right after me asked what trick-or-treating was. What even is trick-or-treating anyways? I mean, everyone just opts for the treat option nowadays, so there's no point in even having the trick part to it. Besides, maybe the occasional teenager TPing their neighbor's tree. Remember when my mom always told me, the only way to get your house egged on Halloween is if you give out tricks instead of treats. I always get egged anyways. My mom would spend hours taking pictures of us in our costumes while we watch other kids start early on houses. And by the time she's done and we get going, all the good candy will be gone. Not to mention how fucked up your feet will get after walking around the neighborhood. Especially when people will ride their bikes and try to hit one of the kids off the sidewalk. Damn, that sounds rough, buddy. Since we're talking about the Pandora's box of childhood experiences during Halloween, I might as well share my lovely Canadian side of things. Yeah, I'm Canadian. Uh, what of it? You see, whenever it was Halloween up north, it was always bone-chillingly cold. Uh, cold to the point where every kid had to wear a winter jacket underneath their costumes. So, not only did I dress up as a fat Spider-Man, I also saw kids dressing up as Fat Barbie, Fat Elvis, Fat Batman, Fat Optimus Prime, and Fat Dracula. We were truly lucky to be born at a time where the peak winter season allowed us to go from house to house, practically tumbling over each other, up and down the neighborhood streets. Truly a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Growing up in Miami Beach, Florida, I honestly don't remember any of my past ventures. The only remnants I have of the past are this photo of me in a Darth Vader costume and this one time I entered my dog into a dog costume contest in town. But apparently I pussied out and he started barking at me. I don't quite remember, but I'm still a founder of Halloween despite my failures. Don't be fooled. With the story aside, here's how to truly T.O.T. Step 1. Get a good costume. Nothing too cringy or too sexy. If it's from a certain media, make sure that everyone knows it or else you embarrass yourself by the time you walk up the steps of the house. Don't get depressed and no one knows what character you are. Especially if you handmade that costume, cause like, who fucking handmades their costume? <laughs> Stupid nerds. Step 2. Get your Gucci bag, or any bag, or a bucket. Personally, I like to go with a duffel bag or something designer to hold the rich kid candy in. Or, if you want something a level above that, just get the classic pumpkin ones, don't be a prick. Alright, step three. It's some of the squad. You got pork chops. He's the bulk of the operation. He knows all the best ways to knock and knock hard, damn it. He's at the front of the pack, cause when the other kids see him, they'll just want to give him their candy. Next, we got the brains. Oh. Point Dexter. Ah. He knows all the best places to hit, so that when you bring your haul, you got the biggest ah. load of candy in the neighborhood. Fire. After that, 
You want a looker, someone with the best costumes, the best disguises, so that you'll all be strutting around in style, getting all the candy from the old ladies and old moms and, and, and stuff. Ask Jimmy. His parents are rich. Lastly, there's you, the glue of the Halloween ops. You know how to get the squad together, and ain't nobody gonna stop you from smagging, snagging, snagging, and bagging all that big, big bag, stiggity, stab, sugary stuff. Uh, candy! Plan your escape route in your trail of tears. This'll be important. You have to get the good shit before anyone else. Treat it like payday. Head straight to the rich neighborhood. Make a roundabout. Thirst on the celebrities and high income families with huge Twix bars. The bigger the bag, the better the night, baby. Step five, get rid of the purveyors of your crime. Now that you have your stash, you got your goods, you got your sweet, sweet candy. You gotta get rid of all the kids who saw your strats. Your holy grail of goodies can't be seen or smelled by anyone else. <laughs> so you gotta get off them. Get off them. You gotta kill all of them. You gotta, you gotta get off them. Off them all. Get them. Get them. Go. Run. Run after the kids on the bike. First you get the kids on the bikes. They'll get, they'll get away quicker than the rest of them. Whack them down one by one until it's just your squad. Only then can you share your spoils. Step six, when you get home, count your candy. Make sure to be back by midnight or else the older teenagers will come out and start vandalizing vehicles and flash their ding-dongs at you. If you have the most candy out of your siblings, you get bragging rights for the next 24 hours. If you don't have siblings, then that sucks to be you. That probably means that you can't trade candies with friends until you go back to school again. Oh wait, that's probably a health hazard. Oh, and if your parents try to steal candy from you or take your bag away because you're eating too much, switch their medication with Smarties and see how they feel in the next morning. And lastly, step seven, reminisce until next year. This will be very important because your excitement won't last forever. Soon you'll be 17 blasting Halloween music in your room alone trying to catch that feeling again. You, you suck. <laughs> If you're someone different, and you don't want to go with the route of trick-or-treating or spending your time thinking about it, and you're the douchebag who wants to ruin it for others, this is the perfect start for you. How to properly scare the trick-or-treaters. Furries, take it away. Well, it sure looks like the time to throw hands and get blood all over myself so the paramedics can drop me off to the ER, only to find out that I don't have life insurance. Anyway, what were we talking about? Ah, yes, Halloween. Candy. A child's good kush. I don't know why they would stick needles in the food, but if choking kids is your fetish, then go off, I guess. I always love it when a good plan comes together and some kids end up getting hepatitis from one of my old needles I accidentally left in the bowl of candies I left on my front door. Uh, sneak, speaking of hurting kids, you know who I love morning hurting kids? Myself. Emotionally. Don't forget about all the cavities these little suckers will get if they eat too much candy. What if their stomach explodes and they had to go poo everywhere? Who would pick shit up? Their parents? <laughs> so, how do you scare the little shit out of a sh <laughs> That's how. But seriously, it's more of asking how to traumatize a little kid during this poopy season. You could also scare a child by kidnapping their parents and forcing them to watch as you interrogate their familia for more information about the many misdeeds they have done against the Korean government, thus forcing an equally traumatic and irreversible mental damage on them. Now that I think about it, that's the last time I went to Ohio. Not really though, if you want to make kids pee their pants in anticipation, make a children's show. Now make that children's show have that one messed up episode where there's a monster of some kind, preferably surrounded by fog and creepy imagery, and have there be no lesson learned in the end. It'll be brilliant, like that one time I watched co uh, the, the, the Cowardly Dog, Courage, you know that one, and had nightmares for weeks and Constantly had to ask my parents if I could stay in their bed at night. Now, now that, that would be mm, ki chef kiss. You guys are supposed to be giving a guide, not describing your dirty f***ing fantasies. What the hell? Oop, my bad. I've never had the ability to have kids, so therefore I punish the ones that exist. 
Or maybe this explicit language could teach you guys a lesson. What lesson? We shouldn't treat Halloween this way. Guys, we can keep the spirit alive. For the past however many minutes this video is, we've treated this like a war zone. Maybe we could treat it naturally, like a family. Like flowers by your doorstep and cotton candy flavors in your cake. Like a birthday where you blow out all the candles in one try. The sunshine beaming on a great Sunday morning. Guys, we can unite as one and not ruin this for others. Why scare others? Why treat it like something villainous? This said tutorial has been nothing but broad evil. Let's hold hands by the fireplace and help the little ones catch the spirit for the first time. Let's truly, and I mean truly from the bottom of my heart, celebrate the ray of Halloween without causing havoc on others. Boo! 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 Stop.